Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Coding Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we are playing in the rock full of brains, a couple of asteroids out in the ferment of space, full of famous scientists, apart from one of them is currently off having a little bit of a problem in a spaceship out here. Last time we sent Plank out to get some orbital data so that he could turn it into these data packs that we've got back in the, in the background here. He's been having to go back at the end of every day and indeed today has been a little bit of a, uh, a more strenuous one. As you can see we've run out of extra oxygen in the tanks and the gas overlay here shows us that we are starting to fill up with carbon dioxide. Unfortunately our, our carbon dioxide storage tank seems to have filled up with oxygen maybe there's a different way of dealing with that but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this guy back uh, to by accident we're gonna sort start sorting out other ways of doing this we got ourselves a fair amount of data banks uh, in in the uh, in the rocket 34 was not bad but we've gone back and forth three or four days in a row now uh, and I want to add an extra extra little socket onto this it does mean a few things are gonna have to change not so much the gases but this water this is definitely gonna have to move uh, because what I want to do is come into here and I want to put down a gas canister yes indeed if we come inside the rocket as soon as it moves up to the top there uh, let's press f6 and let's move some some pipes into place uh, we can then come into the interior probably uh, get rid of a lot of the gas pipe work that's going on in the background here because if we have a look inside the rocketry we have got a gas intake thing I guess the gas output thing is what I want we can just kind of stick this on the wall here uh, if I then delete this segment of pipe you can see that the gas output thing will be taking out of the cargo container that we've just put on the outside if we come and have a look here this gas cargo canister here it'll be taking out of that and pumping into there and of course uh, into the into the, uh, the, the, the the cone at the front there uh, but to be able to put this gas into that canister we actually need to use another piece of equipment that I thought was here. Where, 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 where is it? Ventilation, rocket, uh, gas rocket port loader. That, that's what we need. I'm gonna, I'm gonna slam it there. We're gonna put down a whole bunch of uh, power for it, and we're gonna uh, move some, some gas pipes around. Okay, the tank has been built, so I'm going to select oxygen. I only want to store the oxygen. Any carbon dioxide we pick up can be gotten rid of. That's absolutely no problem. Building the gas port loader down there. Let's have a look at the interior and start thinking about some of these gases. Also, turns out, think about some power. Let's just, oh, no, that's not the button I wanted. B, thank you very much. All right, run that up there. Uh, we could probably redo this whole, whole gas line here to try and make it so that this pipe can store more. If we come up and something like that, we could probably get a little bit more in there as well. Let's set that up. And that's all then carbon dioxide storage. If I could be bothered, uh, we could set up some sort of filter system on here to make sure only carbon dioxide, <coughs> excuse me, carbon dioxide gets put on there. We could even then shunt some of the oxygen over there, but I, I, that's that's a lot of effort. Oh, th there we go. We, we've got oxygen being supplied, which means actually, wait, that must mean we've got oxygen being supplied. Let's have a look. Yeah, here we go. All right. We, we've just got to wait for more to come in through this line. Okay, that's that's fine. It's going to take a while. Uh, if I do feel like I need to f speed it up, I generally pull a little bit in across from that way, and as you can see, it then just fills full uh, full blobs of oxygen, which I, I might actually just leave it for a little bit. Yeah, let's do that. I think I'm also going to rip down this telescope. We've done everything we can with like the map that we've got access to. We need to either land on some more planets or send a telescope up inside uh, a capsule. So yeah, it's it's time to get rid of it. Let's 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 start ripping all this down. I feel like we can have another rocket, maybe with a drill cone attached to it, with the research we need to do, so that we can go out and get some of this polluted dirt, mud, but more importantly, cobalt ore. Nice, but uh, I mean the polluted dirt, I always run out of dirt. We could set up a composting station. Uh, yeah, it'll be, it'll be nice. Oh look, more Drex right here. I didn't I didn't know these guys were still alive. I thought the only ones that I had still alive was this guy right here. Uh, I also have a small bunch of eggs. You can just see them back there. Uh, they they got printed out through the printing pod, and I was like, yes, please, I will take them. Oh look, that's solid oxygen being delivered there. All right, that's nice. That's nice. Not solid oxygen. Solid oxygen could probably be a little bit concerning. Be quite cold. <laughs> Oh man, so little oxygen has gone in that it's not even registered on the valve, on the on the meter. Okay, that's that's 
kind of sad. <laughs> Okay, this has been a nice little distraction, but with quarter of a ton of uh, oxygen on board, I think we can probably go ahead and get Plank back out here. Let's get him going. Uh, see if we can get this uh, get the show back on the road. We need we need more data banks so that we can do more research. Data banks, uh, of course, are one for one. Um, sorry, ten to one. Ten data banks to one point of this orange science at the bottom, and I, I want. I want this. This is the drill cone I was just talking about, so that we can uh, go and go and mine stuff. Also, these interplanetary launchers also very very useful. But I think there's something else that I want to find first before we can even do that. Never mind. Already researched it. Rover module. Okay, be be beautiful, beautiful. Uh, wh where's Plank? Why isn't he here yet? Where 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 are you, Plank? Where are you? Oh, I I just saw him. There we go, he's getting inside. He's having a whale of a time out here. Unreachable module, unreachable storage. What, what, why, why, what is this? Oh, because we're not full yet. That's, that's fine. I think we're okay for now. Let's just, uh, set a new destination. We haven't gone there yet. And, uh, begin, uh, acknowledge the warnings and begin that launch sequence. Away it goes. We're gonna have more oxygen backing up into the system as we sit here and let it all run through through i also want to get rid of all of these pipes over here away it goes oh, i do like watching the rocket launch nice and now as plank sits here and consumes the oxygen more will be coming in from the tank let's uh, oxygen do i do i have access to the oxygen here it doesn't it doesn't show me it that's that's a shame that is a shame how do i know I'm sure I've looked at it and turned away many times, but I can't, I can't see it for now. Normally, you get to see a little read-up of how much is in your cargo tanks. Right, so, I, I clicked on the rocket in the map view here, and it tells us there how much we've got. 240 kilograms out of 3,600. It is still... It's ticking down. It's ticking down. Not much. We just lost, like, a, a gram to the breathing. Okay, that that's fine. Anyway, Plank should be able to stay here until he hits suffocation. We have, a. Uh Two more things to do. Two more things to do. This metal refinery is pumping heat into my base here. It's getting hot. I think this is unacceptable. We now need to build ourselves a little bit of an industrial center. I think I'm going to do it over this side. Not only do I want metal refinery and the kiln up and running, but there's like a glass forge that I want to have. Uh, we're going to drain all the water from here construct ourselves a little uh, a little box flood that with water turn all the water into steam steam turbines across the top keep the whole place cool just like that oh it's going to be great it's going to be wonderful one thing we do need to do though is uh stop stop sending the steel ac across that's that's now not helpful we need it how do we set all this water free i'm just gonna just gonna start digging away at bits and see if we can't uh can't get this all to drain down in into here where there's a pump to pick it up and send it into the water system. Of course, I've set all these jobs up like there's someone over here with the free time to do it. The Rutherford's going around and taking care of all the critters. Boar is doing all the industrial and cooking. We we might actually have to come over to Pyaxlin. I, th I think we're going to send Curie home. She's not going to like it. She's not going to like it at all. But we, we need work to get done. Now, will she go there or will she go to bed? That's the question. Yeah, she's going she's gonna to go eat first. I, I, I respect that. I respect that. Alright, morning has broken. People seem to be getting about and doing stuff. Curie's got straight in the teleporter. Okay, cool. Let's, let's send her over and let's go, let's go see if she can do all the jobs that I've got set up over there. Uh, first off, I've got a bunch of digging orders that I want done. Uh, there, there's, there's this whole bunch of stuff that I want dug up. Not just, it's going to be interesting to see where she goes. Not just down to the left where all the water is, but indeed up here. There's um there's a whole part of the map that I've not got exposure to. Look at this. Look at this. I, I don't know what's up in this corner over here. So um, Kiri's going to go dig all that out as well. And whilst Curie runs around and gets the whole base of reversing back in order, I would like to take a moment right here and thank the people that keep my life in order. That's right, my patrons. Scrolling up the screen right now, you'll see a list of names. A list of names of the guys and girls that have taken the time out of their day and the money out of their wallet to support me and my channel to keep us rolling on into the future. These are the people literally powering all that I say and do, and I suppose it's the least I can do to say thank you. So thank you so much. So we've got this ancient bit of uh, oxalite here, and I'm really tempted just to try and 
encase it all in. Let's uh, let's keep an ancient bit of oxalite alive, shall we? I think I think that's the way. If we can stop it outgassing, then 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 this is this is how we're gonna do it. Yeah. Like, it'll just be a nice nice little feature to have in the future base. Here's some oxalite al alive since the very beginning of the of the of the world. Look, here's another bit that we could probably keep alive somehow. I don't know if there's any more, but uh it's it's becoming a valuable resource. It's it's definitely becoming less and less common as it all starts to off gas and well, I say starts to. Five five thousand cycles in. I'm surprised there's any left. Before he ran out of food, before he succumbed to radiation, before the carbon dioxide got him, we've run out of power. Okay, fair enough. We, we need to try and get our boy Plank back to the base uh, over there. That's where we're going. Beautiful. Over on Paxson, where we are about to land. You can see that I've been starting to store up some of the oxygen we have access to here, just so that we don't waste it when we land. Right, beautiful. Here, or waste time when we land. Obviously, the thing that we're having to do now is wait for all the gases to go flowing in via this method over here. Hopefully, any moment, it will start. I mean, the, the oxygen's being delivered it doesn't look like it there we go great the oxygen is being delivered into the system there plank comes running out he's uh moving some rock piles and data banks great great job well done also the battery's refilling nice okay over on reverse lid i think it's time that we start a massive campaign of destruction we're gonna just basically take everything apart in here we don't want to use uh the metal refinery or the kiln or anything like that over here anymore it's just getting too hot and it's time to contain all of that over this side i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna have user accessible parts over here things like the metal refinery the glass do we have the glass refinement yeah, I've got the glass kiln. Okay, beautiful. It's quite big. It's quite big. Maybe that will sit down the bottom and then we'll have a couple of metal refineries up the side and then a ladder. I think we'll have a ladder running up and down this way in the future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we'll uh, we'll have our insulated tiles running here. Uh, we're probably going to have to make this a not real ladder and then seal off like this. Or maybe we could have the power structure running through the bottom that that could also work that could also work we don't want this here though because we want actually to have space and a not steamy bit at the front but these are all these are all workoutable oh is she gonna do it or is she gonna pop oh oh no no the the fact that she couldn't breathe saved her i thought she was going to build a tile over the top of her own head then i've i've seen it happen before that's totally a thing that would have happened uh the the, the build's coming on uh, i found out where the glass forge can live it's a big 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 machine so i had to figure out where the ladder was going before we could put that down i suppose now all i need to do is figure out like we can't put airflow tiles there so we'll put a couple of airflow tiles there and on top of that back in the refinement yeah refinement we've got the metal refinery beautiful and then i'm gonna have a second one there one for iron one for steel oh we've got some good tidiers but none are decorators yet that's a shame because this girl looks pretty good all right let's uh let's print this one off bam all right cool Right, start, starting to get a little bit low on food back here on reverse lid. We don't seem to be feeding the hatches as fast as I would like. In fact, they don't seem to be being harvested as fast as I would like. I think the lava is still turning over fairly okay. I could see it being that we are food restricted. Look how well this has come down here. The next, One of the next things we're going to be doing, maybe not the next thing, is uh, dig it, digging our way up here. Maybe digging through here. Do you think we could uh, put a ladder down and dig up and through? The problem is the duplicates are going to want, want to walk through the lava no matter what I do. And I don't think this is actually yeah, uh, moppable. So... Th th things to think about for the future there uh, talking about the future this is kind of the shape that we're going to have for the industrial section i like it i like it uh, a lot i'm going to have what i call a uh, utilities cupboard over here i think the first thing we need to do is start dealing with the encroaching carbon dioxide it used to be that two two oxy ferns over here were enough to turn over the carbon dioxide but no it's it's slowly encroaching on our base i think now might be the time to try and set something up to do that i'm actually gonna take this power system out it's it's redundant now we don't need it 
I told you Kiri wasn't going to like it. So her stress has just been getting higher and higher the whole time she has been here. To be fair, this is not the nicest place to hang out. We've both got incredibly cold next to incredibly hot. And you just kind of have to deal with all the differences that happen. I look at the temperature here and the temperature over here. She keeps walking from this place over to that place. The uh, just, just the general amenities aren't as nice as Pai Axon. You know, like where, where would you rather be living? Somewhere with food and cooling and like some comfy beds. Or reverse Lynn, where people are still scrubbing it in cots and have like this one toilet that they all share and, and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I definitely see why Kiri's like, no, I don't like this place. So we put some stuff in the box, around the box as well. You might be able to tell there's a whole bunch of stuff here. This was all just to clear out gases. That's fine. We could, we could just get rid of all of this. We now have quite a nice vacuum inside there. Uh, and I'm going to go kind of ruin that by connecting this pipe up to what is going to be the outflow of our gas forge over here. Let's do that properly. There we go. Uh, and hopefully we now have water being pumped out of our liquid tank here. And this is just going to start gently flooding up in this area here. I think I need to maybe fill up two tiles so our thermal aqua tuner can actually have some uh, some contact with the heat around it. Yeah, that, that might go down well. Where's all this liquid come from? Oh, we've got ice melting. Okay. Oh no, this is bad. We've got we got a liquid fill. Oh no. We've got the equivalent of a liquid lock here. Uh, we've, we've got a little blob of petroleum that sits in between the door so it doesn't let any gases in or out. And if I try and mop that water, it's going to mop up the petroleum as well. Yeah, that's that's not great. Let's try mopping from here backwards and see what happens. We need to move that ice. Okay, so other than the uh, gases being removed, we were also setting up a cooling system over here. You can see we've got the thermal aqua tuner and its pipes are connected up here. I do also want to go back over this way, but we, uh, we're we out of copper. So uh, rather than crushing it up in the, in the rock crusher over there, I thought I might try and get one of these metal refineries on the go and then we can turn some copper to copper without taking the 50% loss. Of course, to be able to do that, I need to be able to pump some cooling fluid through our metal refinery here. And to be able to do that, I need some more copper. So we are actually going to have to run some more rock crushing. Sorry, if I let go of this, it registers that we don't have any more copper and it stops me being able to build. But if I can build the entire line that I want, that might even be too much that I want. We, we might cut that last loop off so that I can run the top one. Because the top one's gonna have steel in it and steel produces, if we have a look over here, 200 degrees C, no, that's not what we want. Wait, I got the wrong thing. Wait, let me click over here. <laughs> So the iron to steel produces uh, 117 kilojoules. Nice that they suddenly talk about kilojoules rather than BTUs here. Um, as opposed to the iron, which is 67. That's, uh, you know, that's, that's nearly half, give, give or take. And then 40 is like a, a two thirds of that again. So there's, there's a lot less heat to deal with in some places than in others. I'm definitely going to scrub that and try and connect these. Turns out that my mopping experiment did work. I'm also putting an exosuit forge um, station up here. An exosuit forge. Just putting one of those up here because my exosuit has worn out. That's that's not great. If I'm to be honest with you, that's not great at all. We've only got seven reed fibers on this planet. As opposed to 230. Is that all over here? No. Wait, wait. Where are they? 230. What? I don't don't understand a single reed fiber we're way off the bottom i can't no, maybe five or six seven there I, I don't know i don't know it's hard to it's hard to tell hard to tell but this uh i want you to repair all the worn out suits also let's let's make another iron one so two people can get in at the same time and deliver those suits nice Okay, we've got water going all the way across the top there now. I'm going to cut this line here. Uh, I'm going to, however, feed it in to this one. Which way are we going to feed? That way, I think, would be the best way to feed this. Uh, we're not quite ready to actually turn this on or off yet. The... Uh, the breaking of the atmosphere suit really put a little bit of a damper on that particular situation but we should be able to get up and running fairly soon okay so i'll cut the water i'm just going to cut that now and see if we've got a continual loop beautiful 
Beautiful. These loops, however, are not going to be able to be powered by water. Uh, we want to have this room full of steam. And if we have steam in a radiant liquid pipe, uh, if we have water in a radiant liquid pipe surrounded by steam, it's going to turn to steam. So we need to need something like petroleum to come through here. Thankfully, I do know where we're making quite a bit of petroleum. The trick, of course, is getting it out of this system and down into this one here. We do have a bottle empty here. We could just set up a little siphon pump somewhere, somehow. <laughs> Or we could run a great big long pipe. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna run a great big long pipe. I think that's the way for us to do it. And unfortunately, none of these guys are dedicated solely to digging. So uh, they're just just gonna have to get on with it like this. To build, not to digging. What, what, what am I speaking like today? I said 5,000 instead of 500 cycles earlier. I was like, oh. Okay, the liquids are already flowing over here on reverse lane. That must mean that they've got the pipe up and running over here. Yes, but we're only getting fresh made petroleum. We're not uh, taking out the tank. I suppose that's good because the tank is our power source. So yeah, I, I am in agreement with this situation. Okay, let's see if we can't follow a little bit of a link of causality here. We got Franklin turning our oil from the very bottom of our oil production facility here into petroleum via the power of the crank handle. Uh, this comes up, is split into two. Some goes towards our power stores to make sure we don't run out, and the rest comes over this way, where a little bit gets siphoned for making uh, plastic. I'm fine with that, and the rest passes on down through all of these pipes. Oh, I haven't quite made it yet, uh, but if we talk just for a little bit longer we can come over to a reverse lin and probably right now start to watch some of these liquids come out of here we should then down at the bottom here have this bottle empty where we can go hey can we have petroleum auto bottled to here please ah i also have a few more things to do before i do that um, we need to get a, a liquid bridge jumping over and ideally actually we go on to that line there let, let the, let's see if we can do this this little jump over here is going to be used again to fill up this loop up the top as well pitcher pump can't see the petroleum mm, that's not ideal can we mop up the crude no there's too much liquid there i mean we're just gonna wait for it to top over then surely it's the, it's the only way i don't know how much petroleum fits in a tile i think it's over a, a, a ton but we'll we'll see crude sits at about a ton so if that that's anything to go by oh it, it's pushed back petroleum boom okay all right that just was just as i went to go see how dense it was okay that's fine it's pushed the the, the crude back and uh that's end of the day ah my my biggest nemesis in this game Okay, I think we might be ready to do it. Let's hit forever on the copper and see what happens. We've only got enough liquid in here for a single turnover, so we will see if that's fine. Of course, it does get recycled and comes back so we can use it again. Oh, oh, we're, we're underway. We're underway. Curie has come along to turn some of the copper ore into... I'm not sure if this is going to work so well. Into a regular copper. Uh, the reason that I don't think this is going to work so well is the... Petroleum's coming through at 70. It's then going through the water. Is it losing enough temperature when it goes through the water? We we need to start turning this water into steam pretty sharpish. But I think we're good. I think I think this should be working. Of course, we're not actually here to make copper. No, no, no. We're here to make iron ore. Uh, make iron so that we can make steel. Which means we're also missing a couple of things. So we're, we're going to be turning glass. Uh, let me turn that on. That glass will be coming over here, dropping on the floor. I, I then want to have a little bit of shipping going on where we actually use an auto sweeper uh, made of steel to pick it up and put it down somewhere. Uh, so whilst we've got the auto sweeper there, I might as well make use of it and put down the kiln right next door. So not only do we pick up the glass, but we can also pick up the um, refined carbon that comes out of that. We then, of course, have to feed some stuff in. But where, where's someone to do the glass? Let's let's watch the glass happen as well. We've watched the, the refinery turn up. Oh, it's the end of the day, of course. Now, we can't use it right now because the building is flooded. Just uh, wait a moment. That that will be fine. I'm almost certain. 
And here comes Fury to do a little bit of glass making. In fact, it has already been dropped out down below. Look, look, did you see that go? Are we going to be able to see another part, another bit go? Look, more being dropped out into the water. The uh, glass comes out at... Se Let's slow that down. It was going a little bit fast. Uh, several thousand degrees like 1500 something like that produces molten glass from raw sand look at this molten glass turns to solid glass at 1200 degrees so it came out super hot and dumped all of its temperature into the water which is stubbornly refusing to turn into steam and i don't think we're going to be able to see it uh, this time uh, i will see you guys next time where we're going to put down some more thermal aqua tuners when these guys get turning over this one's going to have iron ore to iron and this this one is going to be iron to steel but there is a little bit of a problem we're running out of coal and the power from up here can only produce so much power and it keeps depleting all the batteries when these guys are turning over but i will see you then when we're gonna fix all of that bye